Well, ain't gonna move itself. Something to be said about working smarter, not harder. Here in Ontario, we might have been a little bit backwards. This is the second time I've moved this pile of wood. There will be a third, a third, a third, when I get that metal crate to put the wood in. So that's why I'm just stacking it behind the house. Ideally, I should have got the crate, put it in place, took the wood from my truck to the crate. But working smarter, not harder stuff, it's overrated. not be getting too old for this. Gonna do it for today's wood move. On to the next project. Right, well, that worked me up an appetite. <laughs> Let's be honest. It won't take much to give me an appetite. We're gonna have some lunch and we'll figure out what else we're gonna get into today. All right, what's for lunch today? Keeping it simple. Tuna sandwich. But stepped outside my comfort zone and cut it on some angles. Look at me go. Well, it's obviously the next day. You guys all know how it is. Life happens. Put the camera down. Do what you got to do. But again, it is the next day. We got to head out to the farm. We got to go see Paul. He's got some T-posts for me so I can get that wood stacked properly beside the house. First things first, we got to get coffee. All right, we made our way to the farm. <laughs> Paul's got me loaded up with corn already. Uh, we're gonna go for a ride, check out a new duck spot. I think we're gonna bring you along. This is new to me, so, so we're all seeing it for the first time.
Well, it's been several days and I've put it off long enough. Time to move the wood pile for a third time. Now, I went over to the farmer's place to get a T-post. So here's what we're doing here. I got one there. I got that piece of pipe. I got to cut it down. I'm going to drive it in the other side and that's going to keep my wood nice and neat. Now, like I said, I was looking for a, what's it called? An IBC tote? Is that what they're called? The big metal totes with the uh, plastic liners. Uh, nobody around here has got any. That would have been ideal. I could have put that over there and kept everything nice and straight, but next best thing. Anyway, pipe's a little long. Got to get it cut down, then we're going to drive it in the ground. Get to stacking before it gets too hot. All right, we got our piece of pipe cut down. Time to put it in the ground. Unfortunately, I think I need that cable, so we're not going to cut that one. Let's get the wood stack for the last time. Uh, if you guys are in the Chatham Ken area and you're looking for some good wood, I mean, this is dry season, burns nice. We had a fire the other night. Get a hold of Josh Blair. I'll leave his uh, information right here. Give him a call. You know, I'm not being paid to say this. I paid for this wood. It was not free. But uh, it's good stuff. And they're friendly people. See you on the next one. I'm working up a sweat. I'll go you see these uh, water barrels video coming soon catch your own water catch you really got to chase the water what's the word I'm looking for harvest your own water that's what I'm looking for <laughs>